Hey y'all, Pastor Ashley here, and today we are going to be starting a new series called Daniel, Decisions, Visions, and Lion Collisions. All month long, we're going to be talking about the book of Daniel and some of the different stories that happened in it. So today we're going to talk about three men. Their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were really godly men. They loved God. They served God with their whole hearts. They would do anything for him. However, at the time, there was this king who was in power named King Nebuchadnezzar. Now, King Nebuchadnezzar was very prideful. He thought a lot of himself. He thought himself to be one of the greatest kings that ever was and ever would be. And so one day he decides he wants to build this huge statue that is like 90 feet tall and 90 feet wide, all of himself. All right, it's a huge statue of himself that's just ginormous. And on top of that, it's completely made out of gold. So he makes this ginormous statue, and then he tells all the people in the kingdom, listen, you are going to come to this statue, and whenever the music plays, you are going to bow down, and you're going to worship it. Well, hmm, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not about that life. Because, you see, they only worshipped the one true God, right? So they weren't going to bow down to some golden statue, but King Nebuchadnezzar said, and anyone who doesn't is going to get thrown into a fiery furnace. Well, that was a, a good tipping point for most people. So whenever the music played, the whole kingdom gathers and they bow down and worship this giant statue. Except for three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And some guards come and they tell King Nebuchadnezzar, hey, there's three men out there that won't bow down and worship the statue. And he's like, what? Bring them in. And so he brings in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And the king is like, why aren't you bowing down? And they're like, yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry, not sorry. We don't bow down to golden statues. We only bow down to our one true God. And he says, listen, I'm going to give you one more chance. All right. And you're going to bow down to my golden statue. And if you don't, you're going to get thrown into the fiery furnace. You understand? And I love their response. They said, you know, even if, like, no matter what, we're not going to bow down to your statue. And even if you throw us into the fiery furnace, we know that our God can save us. But even if he doesn't, we still won't disobey God. I love that line because you want to know what they're showing right there that you they have trust that God can save them from that fiery furnace. But they also know that that may not be God's will. And if it's not, then okay. But they're still not going to disobey God. And so out of a rage and fury, King Nebuchadnezzar takes these three men and he chain ties them up and he makes the furnace seven times hotter. And it was actually so hot that whenever uh, the guards went to go open it, they died instantly. That's how hot it was. And so some other guards are terrified and they toss Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in. And you would think instantly, you know, flames. But no. In fact, one of the guards says, um, sir, how many people did we throw in? And King Nebuchadnezzar is like, well, that's a weird question. Three, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they're like, yeah, we see a fourth, and it looks like the Son of God. And he looks inside, King Nebuchadnezzar does, and he sees four figures in these flames. And he's like, oh my word, open the furnace. And so they open up the furnace and out walk Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And everything that they were tied up with had completely burned off. But their clothes were not tarnished. Their clothes were not burnt. They didn't even smell like smoke. That's amazing. And he falls to his knees and he's like, surely your God is the one true God. And from then on, King Nebuchadnezzar decided to make a decree saying that you want to know what? We are only going to worship the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because it is clear that he is the one true God. I love that because you see, their bravery allowed them to be able to reach people that typically wouldn't have been reached like that. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were brave enough to step up and say, no, we're not going to disobey God because of this weird law that says that we're supposed to bow down to a statue. Now, they still had respect for the king. They didn't just, you know, spit in his face or anything, but... 
they stood up for what they believed in and because of that they were able to reach King Nebuchadnezzar and uh, show him the path that God wanted for him and that's so cool now don't get me wrong King Nebuchadnezzar still messed up quite a bit bit in the book of Daniel and we'll get to that a little later so be sure to tune in next time but real quick let's pray dear Jesus we just thank you for this day and we thank you for this time that we have to just learn about you and your word and I just pray that you will help us to be able to be lights to all those around us and show you um through us God I pray that we're able to just guide others um onto your path and that they are able to accept you into your heart and in your precious name we pray amen well, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. So be sure to tune in next week for Seven City Kids online experience. See ya.